Squirrel, the offense got going much quicker against UTSA over the weekend. You feel like there was anything that changed, anything different that allowed y'all to kind of get off to a smoother start? Uh, no, nah, I just um, feel like um, just being back in um, Neyland just really um, allowed us to like, get our momentum going um, on offense. But nothing has changed. Nothing changed real. The wide receiving room as a whole, what do you think you guys need to do to kind of take the next step to be even more successful as you guys start SEC play? Uh, I feel like um, right now we're um, making plays down the field. As you seen um, last week, we just got to continue um, building on that, um, just, just um, working on our craft and stuff each and every day, every practice. Squirrel, is it hard not to think about last year's trip to South Carolina and what was on the line there and kind of what was lost. I know that uh, maybe it wouldn't help to think about that at all this week. Are you a guy who looks at that for motivation or anything of that sort? Nah, um, to be honest, um, we just, um, this is a new season, um, next game, next opponent. Um, we just try not to um, really think about it. I mean, obviously we know it happened, but like it's just the next, next game. On some of those deep balls down the field that you guys haven't been able to complete, um, I, I, how much of that, if any, is on the receivers versus Joe? Because Coach Heupel has talked about, hey, it's not just on his throws. Can you explain that a little bit? Oh, yeah, it was just on um, miscommunication. I, I never blame the quarterback for me. I feel like um, it's always like the receiver like uh, fault, to be honest. So, yeah. You said you would never blame the quarterback. Is that like always been your mentality? Is that how you were in high school? Where did you learn to have that mentality? Uh, yes, um, learning for high school, like quarterbacks already have like a much on a uh, lot on their shoulders and stuff. So like we don't need like all that on their shoulders. So like we'll take the blame for that. What do you think of the dark mode jerseys you guys are going to wear Saturday? Uh, they're pretty on um, tight. I like them. Um, just the all black, all black accessories. Yeah, smooth. You're obviously tabbed as one of the fastest guys on the teams when Milton had his touchdown run to open up against UTSA. Do you think you would have beaten him on that run, or where is that in competition? Uh, he, was on, um, he was on the other side of the field. I feel like uh, if I really uh, could have um, got down there, I feel like I could have beat him to the end zone. But now nah, he um, topped out like at 21 miles per hour I've seen. So, yeah, he's pretty fast. Score, you all. Obviously, had a couple guys go down to injury on, on Saturday. What did you see from Chaz and, and Caleb stepping up and trying to take advantage of their opportunities? I feel like they did um, good um, coming in. Uh, they didn't blink. Um, Caleb had his first touchdown. I was pumped. Uh, um, Chaz came in, made a couple plays. It was just great to see them um, come in and work. What do you know about South Carolina's defense and maybe specifically the secondary guys you'll be going up against? Uh, they're pretty good. Um, they play a little man. Uh, it's going to be tough for us, but um, I feel like we, we're ready. Squirrel, has it been difficult to explain to, to some of the, the younger receivers? And I, and I know you're a sophomore, so it's not like you've been here for, for years and years, but mm -hmm. is it tough to explain to some of those young guys that w with Joe they just kind of have to keep running, that they might think that they need to slow down, but if they just keep going, he'll still get them? Uh, no. Nah, um, all, all season and stuff, like, our, our timing is good. It's nothing like just keep digging or nothing like that. But, yeah. Obviously, quarterback, wide receiver connection, you guys always have to be on your game. Um, but how do you guys kind of connect with Joe off the field in that wide receiver room? Uh, all season, um, we, we all just, like, kind of just hang and stuff. In season, we same thing. We hang, watch film together. Um, on Mondays, we um, come in together. Um, without the coaches, we watch film and stuff like that, just uh, seeing what he like and he uh, seeing what we like and stuff. So, yeah. Kind of going off of that, I know you mentioned before this season that you and Joe have a pretty close relationship. I think you said you guys had gone jet skiing before. With the kind of criticism that is 
come over in certain times these last four weeks about Joe. What is your role as a friend, not even just as a teammate, but your role as a friend to be there for him and kind of work through that with him? Oh yeah, just tell him like block all the noise out, like don't even be on social media, like just it's just us in here. Nobody else. Thanks, bro.